Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, August the 10th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 10. The Third Aim. To Live Simply. The first Christians surrendered completely to our Lord and recklessly gave all they had offering the world a new vision of a society in which a fresh attitude was taken towards material possessions. This vision was renewed by St. Francis when he chose Lady Poverty as his bride, desiring that all barriers set up by privilege based on wealth should be overcome by love. This is the inspiration for the third aim of this society, to live simply. O oh God, you resist the proud, and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis, and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 97. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice, because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Almighty God, your whole creation declares your glory. May we perceive you in all your works and live in the light of your righteousness through him who is the light of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. He left that place and went to the region of Judea and beyond the Jordan. And the crowds again gathered around him, and, as was his custom, he again taught them. Some Pharisees came, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, What did Moses command you? And they said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart he wrote that commandment for you. But from the beginning of creation, 
God made them male and female. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Then, in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for our church leadership. We pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your Church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. And we pray today for those places in the world where people are struggling, where people are suffering, where people are dying because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Myanmar, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those in our world, most especially those in our community, who will suffer from the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. We pray for those who will be seen as less than or a threat because of the color of their skin, their manner of dress, their language, their customs, or their faith. We most especially hold up in prayer our brothers and sisters in the First Nations as they struggle in this time of 
our slow understanding of the damage of the residential schools. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those who will suffer from the effects of poverty and homelessness, for those who will go without or who will struggle to find their food or shelter in this land of abundance. And we pray for those in our community who work with the marginalized. Samaritan House, Helping Hands, 7th Street Access, Safe and Warm, and the Bear Clan. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, those afflicted with COVID-19, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we pray for those who minister to the sick. We pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians for researchers and scientists. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community who are struggling this day because of the pandemic. We pray for those who have been vaccinated and we give thanks for the vaccine. And we pray for those who have not been vaccinated. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will guide them and direct them and help them to understand that what they do for the vaccine is not just for them, but for all those around them. Help us to hold up and support each other. Drive away our fear and mistrust. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Remembering this day, Ron, Jeff, and John. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the province of Asia Pacific, for South Australia region and Western Australia region. And we pray for Maggie, Monica, Deanna, Clint, James, Alan, Mary, Mike, Ginny, Will, Nancy, Gerald, Petrolia, Mary, Anne, Beth, David, Donna and Donna Lee. And we pray for our companions, Janet, Christine, and Desiree. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect. Almighty God, you sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your Church. Open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in joy, love, and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace.